Hello and welcome to our first visual walking tour of Camp King. We're standing right here at the most western end. This is what used to face just uh, meadows and forests. So maybe for anybody who remembers who was stationed here up until 1972, there was nothing but nature on this side of the camp. And we're right here and we're going to take a little walking tour. So please follow me. So this is one of the remaining outer buildings, it's still in almost of its original um, building. And here's the playground. It used to be much bigger here. This was made into a parking lot. Uh, I remember I was here for a picnic a long time ago and it was just covered with trees. And yeah, this is the new settlement behind there. So we walk a little bit further. And you notice it's very quiet here on a Sunday. Not much traffic, no businesses, everything's closed. Here we're coming on to the end of this walkway. This was built also in 1972 to separate Camp King from uh, the new building in Rosengärtchen. What you see down this way is the Hohe Markstraße, which is probably familiar to you. On the left-hand side, behind that grey building, you would see the Kupferhammerweg U-Bahn station. So, the building on my right, as I'm going in this way now, that's brand new. That was all put up in 2000, 2001. Yeah, and this is one of the remaining buildings here. This overhang is new, along with that building, the shops. Now we're going to cross the parking lot. And I'll take you there where the gate used to be. gate used to be. That's where you guys would go in and out, I guess. And down this way. On the right hand side is Kukahama U-Bahn station. So let's continue walking. This street, by the way, has been named Camp King Alley. We cross over. Germans sometimes pronounce it Kampf King. We hear that on the bus line when it stops. Right here is the sun. And here, to remember Elvis Presley, we have the Elvis Presley Weg. Most Germans laugh a little bit first when they see that street sign. He was stationed in Friedrichsdorf, but uh, the road was dedicated to him. He, uh, f sorry, not Friedrichsdorf, Friedberg, of course. So, over there we have a brand new kindergarten school. And we're walking now towards the old part, where all the half-timbered houses are, the original buildings. So 
very modern underground recycling for glass. It was separated by colors. Uh, now we are at the end of the Camp King Alley, so maybe some of the buildings from now on will look more familiar to you because this is still remaining from the US military time. So please follow me up there, the most beautiful shot, the Mountain Lodge or the Officers Club. And well, yeah, people do take walks around here too. And we walk up a little bit closer. See, there's a pretty good mix of old and new up there. This memorial has been put up, dedicated to Charles B. King. Down there we have another one of these original buildings. And uh, yeah, it's very quiet here on a Sunday afternoon. So, Take a look at a couple more homes. Okay, what you see here is so far the old camping. Most of them have been turned into private residences. And uh, this is the Kinder House here. That belongs to the city. They have these uh, social activities for kids after school. And uh, this is some artwork done. This used to be the former floor of the gym. And let's see what the announcement over there is. Artwork is titled Don't Look Back. Ah yeah, of course it's all in German. Anyway, it was done by Thomas Klipper and it's supposed to show the different time frames this place has gone through. And yeah, it shows his work here. All right, so it's starting to rain and this is about the end of the tour. I hope uh, you like what you see and uh, we might see you again. This was Maria Shipley reporting from Camp King and Margot, my daughter, helped. <laughs>